I'm here with Yoni Jacobs of Chart Profit. Yoni, thanks for being in with us. Thanks for having me. Now, you are kind of the guy who is a, a bear on all gold all the time. Uh, may, maybe that's a bit harsh, but you typically do see more of the downside on gold lately. It looks like you've been kind of uh, been kind of right. Gold prices continue to go down. Sure, they've hit a bottom a couple times, but we're really testing bottom resistance, lower resistance instead of shooting up. What, what do you think? What's happening next? Uh, well, I think we topped out in 2011. Uh, plenty of signs that it's a bubble, in my opinion, or at least that the cycle's over uh, and we're headed down. Uh, I guess the problem is we've been in such a, a, a weird range where nobody knows which direction we're going in. Uh, at the same time, we failed three times already at 1800. Uh, and we're approaching a very strong support that we've seen consistently holding up gold uh, at around 1500 to 1550. Uh, so we're approaching that. We're seeing bearish pick up, uh, bearishness pick up in gold. Hedge funds are betting against it. George Soros sold his positions. Goldman Sachs and a lot of other research firms are lowering their price targets. Uh, so we are seeing bearishness. Uh, the stock market keeps going up, which gives a lot of people maybe reason to sell their gold. Um, we're seeing China being a little tighter now because they're afraid of inflation, which is a big reason for the bulls. Uh, China has been a big reason for the bulls to get into gold, but now all of a sudden it, it's looking a little weak to them. So I think we're picking up steam on the way down. Uh, I think the momentum is really picking up. Uh, at the same time, I think we need, you know, we might bounce here in gold uh, just to give, uh, I think the market wants to give gold bulls another reason to get in to persuade them to get in, mm -hmm. but it's giving, it also needs to get some of the bears out, dissuade them, and then when that happens, I think we'll enter another sharper drop. So central banks, Federal Reserve continues to ease. The economy still sees headwinds. It's, it's a very slow uptick. This still looks good for gold. So why are we seeing the sell-off? Uh, well, on, on one hand, the market keeps going up. So uh, I think a lot of bulls exited because of that. Um, you know, I view it as really two scenarios here. On one hand, the market continues to go up. People really don't need gold anymore because you don't really need that protective hedge. Um, on the other hand, the stock market goes down, um, which there's plenty of reasons to, to think that it's going to go down. Uh, I don't think that a lot of the gold bulls, you know, they buy uh, gold because they think the market's going to go down. It's going to give them protection. Uh, but if you look at 2008, we had a deflationary uh, recession, or at least the you know a recession where pr asset prices come down. I think gold, it, since it's highly correlated to stocks over the last uh, few years, I think it'll go down together with the stocks. All right, you. Well, thanks so much for being with us, and we'll talk to you soon. Great, thanks for having me.